Thank you for coming to Starbright Storytime. Today's book is Our Skin, A First Conversation About Race, by Megan Madison, Jessica Raleigh, and Isabel Roxas. Our Skin, A First Conversation About Race. Words by Megan Madison and Jessica Raleigh. Art by Isabel Roxas. We all have skin. It comes in different colors. What color is your skin? We see different skin colors at the playground, at the grocery store, and on TV. What skin colors do you see? Our friends have different skin tones. So do the people in our families. What about in your family? Our skin is beautiful, strong, and important just the way it is. What do you love about your skin? We get our color from something smart inside our bodies called melanin that protects our skin from the sun. You have melanin too. We all do. Everybody has just the right amount for them. The darker your skin, the more melanin you have. The lighter your skin, the less melanin you have. Melanin makes our skin many beautiful shades from dark to light. What do you call your unique skin color? We may use color words to describe people like black and white. Sometimes we say people of color to talk about all the groups of people who aren't white. Our world has so many different groups of people, so there are lots of words we use. What groups do you belong to? Black, indigenous, Asian, white, Arab, Pacific Islander, African American, Latinx, biracial, and so many more. Skin color can't tell you much about what people are like, what they know, what foods they think are yummy, what their favorite books are, or even where they were born. Just by looking at someone, we can't tell who they are on the inside but sometimes people try to anyway. A long time ago, way before you were born, a group of white people made up an idea called race. They sorted people by skin color and said that white people were better, smarter, prettier, and that they deserved more than everybody else. That isn't true or fair at all but it's a story that has been told for a long time. When people believe this untrue story about race, it's called racism. Racism is also the things people do and the unfair rules they make about race so that white people get more power and are treated better than everybody else. Racism happens in lots of big and small ways. It's all around us even if we don't always notice it. Racism can be a rule, like if someone says only friends with white skin can play. Racism can be an idea, like thinking princesses only have blonde hair. Racism can be a way we've done things for a long time, like how there aren't as many books written about people of color. Racism can be on purpose, like calling a person of color a mean name because of their skin color. Racism can be by mistake, like if the same friend always has to play the bad guy. Racism hurts and is always unfair. That's why it's important to talk about it 
and do our part to make things better. All the time, even right now, people are working for racial justice by telling the truth and sharing feelings, by treating people the way they want to be treated, by bravely saying, that's not right, by marching in protest, by singing songs that bring us together, by changing unfair rules, by teaching, helping, learning, and listening. We can do it too. Continue the conversation. Skin color, race-related observations, family diversity, identity terms, stereotypes and prejudice, race, racism, empowerment, and activism. Children notice race and racism as toddlers. It's never too early to begin the conversation. This book is a great place to start. Text copyright 2021 by Megan Madison and Jessica Raleigh. Illustrations copyright 2021 by Isabel Roxas. First published in the United States as a board book by Rise and Penguin Workshop an imprint of Penguin Random House, LLC, New York. This has been Our Skin, a first conversation about race by Megan Madison, Jessica Raleigh, and Isabel Roxas. Thank you for coming to Starbright Storytime.